let's get some let's get some stuff talked about char rock char oh hold on let's get it up i'm good at getting boxes upside down immediately right out of the box and of course maybe i should clean the blades off man that way i wouldn't be busted like uh, you use your knives that's that's embarrassing um and of course it's upside down what oh uh, what world am i in okay best tech of course kombu design of course the ornet uh and you know i saw this ornetta for sale I'm, this is cool because like now i don't have to pay like five hundred thousand dollars to buy an ornetta you know like the titanium one and blah 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 and all that so i can get one hey and it's got a titanium pocket clip let's just clean it up as we go and then a black G10 backspacer. It's all way cool. And, oh, what's the blade steel? Oh, N690. Oh, the world elite. The new, oh, the master of the Magna Cut. Just kidding. Okay. But then, I mean, it was weird because I wasn't paying attention when I bought this. Okay. I got it on White Mountain Eyes. Bleep, bleep. Uh, I got it on White Mountain Eyes. Buck 39 minus LTK is your 10% discount. So take about 14 bucks off of that. Okay. But still, all right. And then I noticed, hold on. That's the same knife, right? And no, it's not. Oh, note the different box. Yikes. Okay, so let me flip the page for you. And uh, we're talking $68. Now, hold on. $140 or $68. So $140 or $70. I mean, that's half price, right? So you get the half price. Now, they look the same size. They both got G10. I mean, how embarrassingly embarrassing. Oh, this is D2. Okay. D2. So, I mean, there may be some guys out there. Oh, and you don't get a titanium pocket clip. Don't throw yourself off the bridge over that. I mean, oh my God. I don't, you know, I mean, that's probably not. The Alpha and the Omega, why you buy a knife anyhow. Actually, you want it to go into your pocket reasonably decent, and it does. Um, but I'm wondering, I mean, I don't know who's worshipping N690 out there. I get it. It's... <sighs> Bowler N690 is not K110. I mean, Bowler K K110 is like their version of D2, so it would be a semi-stainless, but N690 is a full stainless, and therefore, okay, less corrosive than a semi-stainless like D2, but whew, hold on, let me get this out of here. Um, I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mark these up, see, but I just thought that was interesting Okay, 3.6, 3.65, and down here, three and three quarter. Okay, overall length, uh, eight and a half at 21 and a half centimeters. Let's call it 95 millimeter blade length. So let's pull this one. Yeah, this sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Um, yeah, three and three quarter down to here, 95 millimeter. Uh, well, is my and the tip's not sticking through? Isn't that weird? It's a little less. It, it's about no, it's about twenty-one and a half. About twenty-one and a half. Hey, hold on. Is this just just a skosh longer? Mm, nah, it's about the same. Okay, okay. So they're the same, right? But this one's half of this one. Now, oh. oh you know, you get the multicolor instead of a singular color G10. Um, looks like these are either black blade or they're partially black. Let me look. Uh, well, not this one. I mean, this one is not a partially black. That one is. That's all black. That's partial. 
That's partial. I'm not partial to be impartial. Okay, and then uh, these are the more expansive ones. That one being the one I bought, blah, 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 and then blue. How did I miss the blue? I got red this time. I don't know. Sometimes I default. Uh, but, you know, does that, does that make sense? Um, let me, let me see if I, no, okay. So, I was going to see if I had a picture of the original titanium Ornetta, which was like crazy expensive, but, uh, and, and it was a good knife, it's a good knife and all that stuff, but this is kind of more like what I want to carry. In fact, this is probably more like what I'm going to carry and beat and use because, um, and let's, let's see what else the difference is. 15 millimeters, that's a handful, it's six tenths of an inch on the handle and 0.14, so that's 3.7 millimeter blade stock um okay basically same and is it basically this yeah it's basically same okay so same fatness on blade stock and handle and length and everything else let's see if there's a difference in the weight but then i'm sorry um the multicolored uh g10 and the fact it's got a titanium pocket clip to me, that doesn't hit me as I want to double the price. But it's interesting they did this because they're catering to people who want a little bit more upscale, you know, G10 model. And then those who want just a pure ass user, but they're getting the Ornetta design, which is really outstanding. I mean, it's really outstanding. 4.3 three ounces let me see oh baby wow wowie wowie 124 grams 123 grams one gram difference okay so uh there's nothing thanks for nothing now there's a difference in the box and the packaging may or may not impress you i mean here is just a piece of plastic on the inside here's the uh, model number and everything, but on this one, of course, you get the zipper pouch, you know, because you're getting the full Monty on this one, pretty much, even though this is not a titanium one, and, uh, okay, what are you getting? Sticker, sticker, see, I can skip the stick, um, the stickers, I don't need them, uh, and then a uh, microfiber cloth, that kind of thing. And what do you got? Oh, just, well, okay, never mind. It's not a big deal. Uh, to me, at least. Uh, so, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, zipper pouch is nice. Okay, I, I always kind of like give a plus for that. But um, if it comes with stickers and microfiber cloth, well, I mean, it just depends on what we're talking about. But <sighs> that there's nice. That there's nice. Now, this one's nice, too. Let me throw it around on the table for a little bit. Um, okay. What do you think? Try just kind of get an idea. Mm, it's okay. Actually, that seems... Okay, let's try this again. That seems to give less drag. Yeah, that kind of was just bumping along a little bit here and there. Um, you know, just on these particular examples, and I'm sure it, you know, it varies knife by knife. But that was interesting that the one that's half the price is uh, feels sharper out of the box. And this one's got that um, natural G10 here. So what what color do you want it? Uh, because you can do anything you want, right? You can make this purple. You could make this a tropical teal. You could make this blue. I don't know if you could make it a yellow yellow, but you might be able to. But you could make it, 
you know, different shades of blue or whatever. So you might even be able to make it red, uh, you know, that kind of thing. You got to consider your base kind of color, what's, what's looking at you. But, and we're going to get into another video where we're going to dye some scales on uh, the Bag Lighter XL has come out from White Mountain with white g10 scales so we're going to do that but uh yeah so i mean you can get this but this one's 68 dollars. okay so 68 dollars plus ltk discount so that's almost seven dollars off right so this is almost like 60 dollars break even delivered to your door so and this is still going to be what in the 120s wow still double the price hmm um and yeah i would have preferred that this not had a partial black but on this model with the natural g10 it did regardless uh action on it feels pretty good um but i've always liked the ornetta but i mean i like pretty much all uh and I'm not going to pronounce Gregor's Grabowski, but it's not. It's a Zer something. I mean, I met him at Atlanta Blade Show, and he goes, well, the last name kind of sounds bad. He pronounced it for me. It's different than the way I say it. So, Kombu. Let's just call it that. But, I mean, he, he does incredible stuff. Uh and I'm chasing one right now that I missed out on the first release, and I'm gonna have to get get the get the second time around. But uh, this is pretty classic. Um, yeah, I mean this this one for some reason feels a little heavier, but it's not. It's actually lighter. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Uh, fit and finish is pretty good on them, but I like Best Tech Knives, and they have good fit and finish. They're they're pretty darn decent, and this is pretty affordable. A lot of these G G10 models are just going up and up and up, and Best Tech is guilty as the rest of them for raising their G10 prices on their base, you know, G10 bangers. But this one, really, after discount. It's nothing to be ashamed of. And you know what? With with this design, it's yeah, totally doable. And you get plenty of blade here, right? And um this this is that tip, yeah, it, it's pretty pretty solid there. It's not real fragile or anything. Got a nice belly for cutting. You got this cutaway here so you can get up on that. Uh, the ergos are great. I mean, if you ever saw the one I did on the titanium one a couple of years back, probably. Uh, but uh, ergos are great. Yeah, they're fine. Uh, reverse grip, it's good as well. So, yeah, I mean, hey, everything being equal, no, oh, I'd take this one. Because, yeah, I do like the multicolor G10 and the titanium, but I just thought I'd put it out there for you guys that say, I mean, you know, everybody's, you know, fighting for groceries and uh, gas and stuff out there and you watching your budget and you might go, is it really worth paying double? And so this is at least, you know, a comparison where you get to look at both knives and make your own decision about that. Okay. Um, you look at the hardware. Looks the same, okay? Backspacers. Looks the same, okay? Obviously, G10 is G10. Um, so, you're talking a pocket clip, and you're talking blade steel, difference between D2 and N690. I think some people would just assume default onto the D2. <laughs> There's probably someone out there they would like to get the D2 blade and put it on this body and flip. And you probably could. Um, they look identical. So, uh, wow. But I just thought it was interesting. Do you normally see other companies like 
let's say Kaiser or Cancept or Civivi or whoever, you know, come out and and do this where they make kind of a higher end G10 and a lower end? Because I'm trying to think right now and it's just like you get what you get um, when they do it because they aren't going to make multi-levels of that. And uh, so I just thought this was really interesting. I don't know why they did it and there may be an explanation, but I don't. I, I don't know that. So, but what a, what a knife, you know? And the, I really like the fact that they did at least come out with this. And this is something that more knife companies are doing and also know that they need to do or should know that they need to do, which is take your nice titanium models that are super popular Put them in G10, not right away, but you know, like this, and uh, it'll be a big hit all over again, you know. And so you're getting that design out there, but then you're getting it in a more affordable package as well. Kind of like, right? Here you go, Civivi with the Thug 2. I mean, the Thug was We Knife, and then it was more expensive, was this Christensen, Matthew Christensen design. But I mean, you know, so now here it comes this way. Just like the Synergy uh, for We Knives came out in the Synergy 2, etc. So yeah, I think that's uh, that's fine. But yeah, I mean, the weight's not bad on these. Um, the Ergos are good. Fit and finish is decent. And the price is varied, you know, depending what do you want to do. So I don't know. I mean, this is like a coin toss, right? Uh, do I want to do this one or the other? And I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Now, the coin toss is what driver? I can't find my little stubby skill driver. I'm still looking for it. It's driving me crazy. Um, driving me crazy. So, but I got this uh, good screw, right? Um, they're really awesome drivers. They come in this box, right? Um, I don't know if it has any. It has nothing on it, okay, other than when you open it up and you get all the information out. But, I mean, this is good screw, right? Uh, it's really, uh, they have some incredible titanium drivers. And then, I, you know what? I got this, but then I realized this is an anno treatment, but this is not. This is Mokutai, right? So, um I thought it's interesting, but so I'm I'm jonesing on these. You know, they're way cool. Uh, okay, let's just get this one apart then. Uh, and we're gonna kick it. Ooh. That was ready to go too. Uh and are we really gonna do number sixes? I guess we are, okay. Hmm. You know, like Civivi and Sencut and some of the others have gone to number eights on the body screws. I'm kind of surprised Best Tech stayed with number sixes instead of going to number eights. So hold on. Let me look at this real quick. No, these are number sixes too. Yeah, yeah, hmm. Okay. Never mind. Come here. And I got you undone. I got you undone. And I did. Did I do anything with you at all? To uh, remove this? No, of course not. Okay. Now we got. That's a little tiny one, so that's definitely shorter. Here comes this, so there's your... Okay, so you do have a little bit longer one, or is that just partially picked up? It's probably partially picked up off of there. Nah, they're the same. Same length. Okay. Come on. Let's get you boys out of here. We got more drivers and knives on the table. Okay. Um... Then we got a liner, and we got a ceramic detent ball. So, yeah, maybe it was smart to take the less expensive one apart 
so that we could see, you know, are they, have they cheaped out on the bearings or detent ball or any of that? And no, it doesn't look like it, right? These are ceramic bearings, all that kind of stuff. How are we looking here? Looks pretty clean. Didn't have, you know, you got the Best Tech logo here. But, I mean, they have a squared off pivot, so it's not going to spin when you try and take it apart. And it's squared off here, so you're good to go there. Uh, and they've skeletonized the liners. Uh, the blade looks pretty good. Everything looks pretty clean. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's throw it back together. Of course, we don't need a steel washer because we've got steel liners, etc., etc. And get our squared off lined up. Pop it through. And these. And grab the goop. And let's put a blade on. And uh, we're good. Now, let's put our liner on. And that should be kind of a natural to line up. Uh, with that D shape already squared off in place. Uh oh! <laughs> uh, get out of here. I look around and then, no. Okay, come on. Good thing to have your parts sitting there looking at you. Like, what are you, an idiot? Why am I not already in here? Okay. Okay, now. Come on, sit on down. There we go. Now, may we please? And let's get the uh, unicorn in here. That's the unicorn pattern on my driver. And. Okay, so we got the little short screw, and that goes in up, upside down. Goes in here. Ooh, maybe that's a little screw, too. Okay. Number six. Okay. Now, we got a body screw here. Come on. Well, 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 well. There you go. And we're tweaked down there. And we're going to lay this pocket clip down. And we'll do the, the, the one on the bottom first. Uh, okay. You sat down yet? Come on back you up make sure you're in the right position and you are but you're just uh, having to push that clip down okay 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 we're good and now we're tight okay Yeah, we're centered. Yeah. Action seems pretty good. Okay. So, this one's back together. And this one was never a part to begin with. Best tack. And I guess, roll it around, you get a good look at it. I mean, you got jimping up here, you got jimping on the flipper tab, you got a go forward position with that open choil area. Uh, detents where it needs to be. Action's nice, it's centered, no blade player lock rock. We don't have that kind of stuff on either of these knives, so we're good. We're good, they're solid. Just thought uh, it was worth a little conversation about uh, two very similar knives, but at a very dissimilar price. Take care, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. We are Love Them Knives. And sub to my channel if you would. It's Stay Sharp.